Hey there everyone, Ray of Nox here. This video will be about the vistas in Brisbane Wildlands and how to get to them. You can see the links on the screen to each vista and as usual I'll start off with the harder vista video guides and finish off with the guides to the easier ones. Then show the vista views added together at the end. I'll start this video off with the Gotala Cascade vista as I found that to be the most difficult one in this zone and end with the Nemerton Grove vista as I doubt anyone had trouble finding that one. Hope this helped you, see ya! So for the vista on top of the waterfall in the Gotala Cascade, we start off at the Tunnels Waypoint in Scritsburg and start heading north through the tunnels. This vista was pretty tricky to find as you have to make a pretty big detour to reach it. Most people including me were thinking you could reach this vista through some jumping or passageway near the bottom of the waterfall. But that wasn't the case. Once we've reached the end of the tunnel here, we can jump down and take a left along the rocks and follow it along past some Athen to reach the vista on top of the waterfall there. For the vista that is at the top of the Koga ruins, we start in the Durman Priory camp at the Merc Rise waypoint. We make our way out of the camp and take an immediate right turn here and start running up the hill here to the side of the ruins. There are quite a few cliff bats in this part, but luckily they can be avoided pretty easily. Once we have followed the path along to the left, the jumping starts here where we have some slightly crooked stairs, then some wall jumping to reach the vista. So for the vista that's inside of Scritsburg, we're gonna start off at the tunnel's waypoint and start making our way down into the Scritsburg center. We run past the aptly named Scrit named Buka, which refers to the Ashura curse word that is with double O instead of a U. Then we run past the hard NPC and we're gonna take a left turn onto the bridge here. All that is left to do now is take a right onto the stairs and follow this pad up a few more stairs. You can see the fist already over there, now we just need to jump onto these rocks here to reach it on top of the windmill. For the vista in the Shattered Henge that was formerly known as the Henge of Den Ravi, we start off at the Merc Rise Waypoint in the Dermond Priory Camp. We then take a sharp left turn out of the camp and into the Shattered Henge area. We run past a few annoying raptors and try not to run through the green fountains here as they give you a nasty damage over time debuff while running through the swampy area. Once we have reached the other side of the swamp, we run all the way up the hill here till we reach the mushrooms we gotta jump on. And from the mushrooms we can jump on the big tree roots to reach the vista. So for the vista in the hidden lake area, we're gonna start off at the Seraph Observer's Waypoint, where the small camp here seems to have a bandit spawning bug, where it doesn't matter how many of them you kill, they just keep respawning. But anyway, we're gonna run around the camp and onto the hill behind it, then onto the hill next to it from here. Now we just gotta jump on some rocks at the end of this hill to reach the vista. For the vista in the Ashura lab in the Venlin Vale, we start off at the Marat Baru waypoint and start making our way along the road here to the Ashura lab. Then just past these two pillars here, we're gonna take a right up the stairs. Now we're just gonna take a left turn here past the tent and we're gonna jump on the triangle here to reach the vista. So for the vista just below the Nemerton Grove area, we start at the Cinder Slope Town at the Watchful Source Waypoint and start heading north towards the Nemerton Grove. Once we're out of the town, we can already see the vista on the ledge there. Now we just need to jump up the rocks to reach the vista.